Oi, how you doing? It's me, your boy. Welcome to a new series. Farms are great if you know how to build them. That's what tutorials are for. Quick tutorials are even better. Tutorials are great, but sometimes they can get a little bit clogged up with mechanics and stuff like that. Today, we're going to cut that out and just do the tutorials. If you enjoy the video, leave a like. If it gets enough likes, I'll make this a series. If you're a little bit confused, don't worry. You'll catch on soon. Subscribe. 1000k gang. Let's go. The first farm that we're going to take a look at is a cactus farm. To build this cactus farm, these are the materials that you're going to need in exact amounts other than the building blocks. You'll need about a stack of building blocks. The slab type doesn't matter at all. The first step in this cactus farm is setting up a platform for it or just setting it on the ground. The platform for this cactus farm should be 7 by 7 blocks. We're going to fill this in all the way except for one block in the middle on one side. So like this block right here, we're going to leave that blank. We're going to put a chest out front of this thing and then a hopper going into that chest. This is where all of the cactus will be moved over to. Now we need walls on this thing. We're going to put an edge all the way around this thing and then on top of the chest so we can actually open it, a slab or a staircase or just something that lets you open a chest. These walls could go all the way up if you wanted to, or they could just go one block. We're going to go with one block today. It's a little bit easier to do. So now you're going to have something that kind of looks like this right here. We're going to place a block here, a block here, a block here, and a block there. Then another one there and another one there. All right, so now we have this platform that kind of looks like this right here. Make sure these blocks and these blocks over there are on the back corners, the side opposite where the hopper is. Now find the middle. For me, the middle is right here. Build two blocks up and then grab your slabs. We're going to place a slab right there, right here, then over here, temporary slab, there and there. Then we can remove this, remove this, and this, and this. Now on top of those slabs, sand blocks, just like that. Then we're going to place cactus like that. Then we're going to need to place chains up here somehow. Now this could be a little bit tricky. This is the easiest way to do this in my opinion. If you build up here with some temporary blocks and place a chain like that and then do this on the other side, same thing, chain right there, you'll be good. Then you can take all of these blocks out and that's perfect. All we need to do is add the water in here, which is going to go right here and right here. Water will flow on the floor all the way over to the front and that's all. That's all you have to do. In survival Minecraft, the default tick speed is 3. We'll raise things up to 3,000 so I can show you that this works. So check this out. The cactus are growing next to the chain and breaking instantly because they don't like to grow next to blocks. The chains are insanely thin, so cactus don't really get caught on them very often. Unfortunately, the downside here is that some cactus get caught on the cactus and then break. But uh, most of the cactus will end up falling into the water down below and then be picked up by the hopper. You could definitely make this farm bigger if you want, but set it up like this and let it run for a while and eventually you'll have a bunch of cactus. Farm number two is a better basalt generator. If you ever built a basalt generator and then used it and had a basalt fall into the lava and then been sad, this is the generator for you. In exact amounts, these are the supplies that you're going to need right here. These blocks are just building blocks. You can use anything that doesn't burn. All right, now with this one, before I do any building, I should warn you, this farm is absurdly loud. It's not loud all the time, but while it's running, it's going to be loud. So uh, yeah, just take that into consideration. So what we're going to do is start with three building blocks on the surface, just like that. Then right here, we're going to dig down and place one block of soul soil in the ground. Right here, blue ice. Then we're going to place a piston right there, and then we're going to place a lava bucket right there. That's going to flow over that and create basalt. Then we're going to place an observer facing down right there, a building block right there, redstone dust, redstone dust. Now, to get this thing running, all we need to do is dig this basalt out. Check this out. So we dig that out. That's going to happen. And like I said, it's going to be loud. Um, yeah. But eventually, you will start to notice basalt getting pushed out of this thing. Now, using this machine is insanely easy. To use this thing, all you have to do is walk over to the basalt and mine it. That's literally it. This basalt, because it's moved away from the lava, has 0% chance of burning up, which is nice. If you're using this thing and it starts to get closer to the lava again, just uh, give it a second and it'll continue pushing basalt out. Eventually, once this farm has 13 basalt in front of it, it will automatically turn off. To start it again, all you have to do is dig the basalt underneath the observer. It's insanely easy to use, very noisy, but also very safe. Before we check out the next farm, if you like this quick format 100%, check out my TikTok. I post daily Minecraft life hacks, tutorials, things like that. They're quick, they're simple, there's a link to it down in the description. Alright, so bad news. Farm number three is still noisy. It's less noisy than the last farm, but still noisy. The third farm that we're taking a look at today is an automatic bamboo farm. This thing is fully automatic, pretty compact, and decently efficient. The nice thing about this farm, it doesn't have to be compact. You could tile it over and over and over again, make it bigger, and make it more efficient. To build this bamboo farm, you'll need all of these things on the top of the chest in exact amounts, plus 32 building blocks of anything, and maybe some light sources too. 
This farm is seriously so easy to build, it, it's kind of crazy. So this thing is going to be five blocks long. I like to lay rail lines on smooth stone, so I'm going to do that. In the center, we're going to place a hopper going into a chest just like that right there. This is going to be our item collection area. Over here, we're going to dig one block into the ground, place a lever, turn it on. Same thing on this side right here. Then we're going to grab a building block and place it above both levers just like that. Then we're going to place a powered rail right there. It should be on and another one right there. It should also be on. Finally, to finish this off, three rails in the center. This is going to be a continuous loop for our minecart, but we're not going to put it in quite yet. It's, it's low. The whole thing that we just set up, plus a hopper minecart, is basically going to be our item collection system. Now we need to set up the actual farm. Start by placing five plantable blocks directly above the rail lines. Plantable blocks are anything that you can plant bamboo on. Then we're going to grab our building blocks and build up four blocks past this ground right here. So that's three, that's going to be four. Then we're going to do that again on the other side, just like that. Now, behind this thing, we're going to place even more building blocks right there next to where I planted the bamboo. Then, we're going to place a row of pistons facing forward, just like this, and then finally, observers looking forward as well. To place the observers, we'll have to go behind this thing. Then, we'll grab even more building blocks, place them behind the pistons, place redstone dust on top of all of these blocks right here, then swing back over to the front. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to see into these farms, so I'm going to grab glass and finish the front off like this, but technically, you don't have to use glass. You could just use solid building blocks if you wanted to. To finish this off, place more building blocks on top of the thing, and then maybe some light sources on the side to help the bamboo grow. If you were to encase this thing fully with solid blocks and put zero light by the bamboo, then the bamboo actually would never grow. Bamboo needs light to grow. Finally, to finish everything off, we're going to place a minecart with a hopper on one of these powered rails and let it bounce back and forth forever. The default tick speed for Minecraft is still 3. If we raise it to 3000, check this out. This thing is an absolute machine. It's going to crank out a ton of bamboo in no time. At normal speeds, it'll still be pretty quick. And that's it. That's all you have to do to build a bamboo farm. You could make this bigger if you wanted to. Technically, you could make it smaller. Wouldn't really recommend that. But whenever you need bamboo, head over to the chest down below this farm and check it out. You'll have a bunch of bamboo. One thing to note, sometimes bamboo can get thrown out of this farm. Doesn't happen very often, shouldn't really matter, but if you really care about it, place more building blocks around it, kind of like this, and then that should solve your problem. You should be good. All right, bad news. Farm number four today is not automatic, but it is silent, which is pretty cool. The fourth farm, the final farm in today's video, is a sea pickle farm. To build this sea pickle farm, you'll need these supplies right here. Any color of coral, any building blocks. To use this thing, you're also going to want to have bone meal, so make sure you have that. The last farm needs to be built in a very specific order because coral is sensitive. If coral isn't underwater, it can die. And if it dies, well, it, it's dead. It, it's done. You won't be able to use it. You need living coral for this farm to work. So uh, what we're going to do is start by building a ring on the ground with building blocks. This is a 3x3 three three ring. You'll need 12 blocks. This ring will have water inside of it everywhere, just like that. After you have that, dig the floor out one block deep everywhere and replace it with coral. Any color of coral is going to work perfectly fine. They're all the same. Finally, to finish this farm up and then actually use it, place sea pickles down in the center and then bone meal the sea pickles. Sea pickles grow on coral. After you bone meal the center sea pickle once, more sea pickles will grow. I advise that you go ahead and just punch out all of the other ones, leave the center ones alone and do it again and take them out. Do it again, take those out, and that's it. That's literally it. Just keep bone mealing the sea pickles in the center. You'll get more sea pickles. You can pick them up, and then you can use them for whatever you're trying to do. Lime dye, lighting up water, anything like that. There are definitely ways to automate sea pickle farming, but this is the easiest sea pickle farm possible. Elites 1000k gang, that is actually going to do it for today's farms. If you liked the style of today's video and you'd like me to make a part two, leave a like on this video. If this video passes 12,000 likes, I'll make a part two. If you like the quick style of today's video, definitely check out my new TikTok down in the description below. Drop a follow, help your guy out. Would appreciate it. Big shout out, Ground Crazy May, Mr. PD Watch for the support. Thank you so much. Thank you all for watching. It's been me, your boy, Tyler the Creator. I'll see you next time.